because this is I, I explained it last time but because this is not my the yoga studio this is a fitness studio so I always feel that I need to do something about the the energy of this place though it's a great energy but it's a very different than yoga so I'm gonna turn on an incense you might want to do the soul too or, or a candle or anything that make your, your brain, your mind to become calm. So let's start the class. You can sit on a blank in a, on a block. Extend the arms sideways, roll the shoulders back. Start looking straight forward. Bring your palms to prayer position. Bring your thumb to your sternum and lift the skin of the chest upwards. Soften the gaze in front of you. Take a soft, smooth inhalation, soft, small exhalation. Breathe deeply in, breathe out. I'm breathing to begin with three arms. Close your eyes, breathe in. Oh. Without bring your chin to your chest, bring your mind to your heart center. Lift your head, bring your hands to your knees, and open your eyes. So start going forward, walk forward with your hands, extend the arms, lengthen the lower ribs. Keep extending the arms and then bring your forehead towards the floor. So slowly come up. Change the cross of the legs. And then walk forward with your hands. Lift the chest forward, lengthen the side trunk, go forward. Keep lengthening the front trunk, and then keep moving forward. Feel the extension of the outer hips. Slowly come up. We'll extend the arms up. Breathe out, bring your right hand towards your left knee and turn. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, press your hand against the knee and keep turning. And then come to the center, breathe out, change size, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, press your hand against the knee and turn more. And then extend the arms up once again, breathe in, lean backwards, lean backwards, extend the legs, bend the legs, extend the legs, extend the legs. I can see you through my legs, so keep extending the legs. And then bend the legs, cross the legs, and then go forward. And then come up, extend the legs again. If you can extend the legs, if not, you can keep your legs bended. Extend the legs if you can. And then change the cross of the legs and go forward. And then come up, and then go backwards, Touch the floor with your legs and then come forward, cross the legs, go forward. And then come up, 
change the cross of the legs go forward so back and forth so, so, so you can see if you don't understand extend the arms ex go backwards cross the legs change the cross go forward and so on keep going toes back change the cross of the legs toes back change the cross of the legs touch with your toes and change the cross a few times Do it a few times. Change, keep changing the cross of the legs. And then come to the center. Paripurna Navasana. So and then touch your feet, go backwards, go forward, touch the feet. Go forward, touch the feet if you can, and then try to come up. However you can. You can come up straight, or you just put your hands forward, and then extend the legs, Uttanasana. Breathe in, extend the arms up. Breathe out, take Uttanasana. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, jump backwards, take downward facing dog. Breathe in. Bring your right leg forward and take Kutita Trikonasana. Stem both legs. And then come to the center. Take downward facing dog. Change legs and take Kutita Trikonasana. Go to the other side. And then change legs. Take Kutita Trikonasana again. And extend the legs. Go and then. Can, can bring your palms towards the floor. Other Uttarpanasana, downward facing dog. Change legs. Uttita Trikonasana. Change legs. And then once again, right leg forward last time. Do that then. Bend the right leg. And then extend the arm over the head. Do that then. Bring your palms towards the floor. And then bring your knee towards the floor. And then toes back, move your tailbone forward, observe the extension of the psoas muscles. Lift the chest. Move your buttocks forward. Good, and then go to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. Change sides. Go to Uttita Trikonasana. Sorry, I'm going to give you my back. Turn your trunk. Bring your buttocks forward. Good, and then go to... Uttita Parsva Konasana. And then turn your trunk upwards. Keep going in the same way. I will change legs. Extend the arms. Bring your left buttocks forward. Good, and then bring your palms towards the floor. Bring your tailbone forward. Lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Move your buttocks forward. Roll the shoulders back. Chest upwards. Breathe in. Breathe out, take downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in, bend the legs, jump or walk with your legs in between your hands. Stand both legs, extend the arms. Breathe in, breathe out, Uttanasana. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in, bring your left, your right leg forward. Good, and then go to Viravadrasana one. Good, breathe out, downward facing dog, change legs, Vira Vadrasana one. Good, and then take downward facing dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana, Telone, Chaturanga, Urva Mukha, Adho Mukha, bend the legs, Uttanasana, Urva Hastasana. Uttanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana, bring your right leg forward, and then bring your heels up, can you close my phone, the, the battery is gone in my phone, and then bring your elbow towards the knee, you're turning from 
left to right. And then bring your hand towards the floor if you can. Go on then. Come up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Change legs. Extend the arm. Bring your elbow towards the opposite leg. And then turn your trunk. Extend the arm over the head. Go and then take downward facing dog. Bend the legs. Cross your legs in front of you. Extend both legs. Well, and then you're gonna lean on the floor and then bring your right leg up. And then extend the right leg all the way up. With your right hand, push your right thigh away. So the same hand, same leg. Same hand, the, the leg that is up, you hold with your opposite arm the strap or the belt, and with the same leg hand, you push away. Push away from the armpit. And then bring your right leg towards the left. Turn your trunk. It's an intense stretch in the side muscle. That's why we, we warm up so much, because this becomes very difficult for some of us. So, so keep extending the arm, and both shoulders, the hips has to be on the floor. What is gonna happen is you will tend to bend the legs. Extend the legs fully, and bring your right leg closer to your head. Come to the center, change the locks, change the cross, hold the strap, with the opposite hand and the leg, the stand the leg, the, the, the high leg, and then push your hip away from the arm, push your thigh away. Both legs has to be extended. And then bring your leg towards the opposite side. Bring your leg towards the opposite side. And you will feel there is a big extension in the outer hips. For some of you, even in the outer, knee. Extend both legs. And bring your leg closer to your head. And then come to the center. Change legs. We'll do it one more time. Extend both legs. Bring your hand towards the side. And then bring your right leg towards the left. And then keep your shoulder on the floor. Let the hip raise up and turn with your foot all the way towards the floor. But the shoulder has to stay on the floor. Keep your shoulder on the floor and extend the right leg. Move your leg closer to your head again. Go ahead and come to the center and then change sides. Move your hip away from the armpit and then bring your leg towards the opposite side. Move your shoulder blades on the floor. Move your leg, your opposite shoulder towards the floor. Move your leg closer to your head. Go and then come up. And then Bring your thighs to your chest, arms extended, and then bring your knees towards the side and keep your shoulder on the floor. Keep your shoulder on the floor. And then come up and then change sides. Keep your opposite shoulder on the floor. Come to the center. Change sides, one more time. Keep your shoulder on the floor. And then come to the center. And then change sides. Keep your opposite shoulder on the floor. Bring your knees towards your ankle. And then come to the center. Now, 
you're gonna place your right leg on top of the left okay and then if you can you're gonna cross your foot on the inner ankle and then extend the arms and then go to the sides go with your knees towards the right first and then observe the extension in the trunk keep your shoulder blade on the floor and then come to the center and go to the other side and then come to the center and then change legs again and then some of us we ha you have to struggle so, so when you do that you can even push your, your foot and, and unlock it bring your thigh towards the knee and press the an your ankle your, your foot against the ankle and then go to the side and then come to the center and then come to the center and then release and then go to the side turn around and then extend both legs we we'll rotate the outer thighs inwards bring your outer hips in and lengthen the inner groins so make your inner groins long and lift the chest fully go straight up don't lean backwards if you start leaning backwards then you have to use a block behind your body or under your body you send the inner knees down and then turn so the, the inner knee this is the inner knee okay the inner knee has to go closer to the floor so roll the outer thigh inwards and keep extending the inner leg now press your heels down against the floor and you will see that the body will grip press your heels down against the floor and bring the back of the knees closer to the floor and you'll see the chest lift when you do so so keep doing press your heels down inner knees down and lift the chest so bring the sole of the feet together and then again press you bring your lean backwards bring your buttocks up and descend the knees down descend the knees down and then bring your buttocks down let's see if you can extend the grunts extend the grunts use your hands and push the skin of the grunts away Throw your knees out. Yeah, if you cannot, no, don't, don't do this. Don't push your knees down. Use your buttocks to bring your outer knees towards your buttocks. Lift, raise your buttocks upwards and descend the knees down. Raise your buttocks upwards and descend the knees down. And then maintain the knees down and descend the buttocks down. Go and then extend the legs again. Extend the inner groins. Again, rotate the outer thighs in. Keep descending the inner knees downwards. Go and then extend the right arm up, breathe in. You can lift your opposite body. So, so lift your right buttocks upwards if you're going to the same side as me and then catch your foot and then turn your trunk good and then come to the center and then change size extend the opposite arm upwards breathe deep clean breathe out reach and then turn your trunk 
lift the chest up. Go and then come to the center. Go and then bring the sole of the feet together. Now, take Virasana. So, this is how you do Virasana. You have to have that blanket that I asked you to bring. You can put it in between your feet. And then the calf muscles has to rotate outwards and the sit bone has to go backwards. This is how it should look. Your sit bone has to be resting on the blanket. So do this. And then extend the right arm upwards. Bring your inner arm back. Move your hand towards the shoulder and bring your elbow back. And then reach with the other hand, reach back. And you have to hold your fingers. If you cannot hold your fingers, stay there. So you get the strap. That's how it should look. Elbow up. The, right, the elbow has to be in line with the armpit. The elbow has to be in line with the armpit and then the chest has to be lifted. Go and then release. Change size. Lift the chest. Go and then slowly release. And then take the heels. So the heels go right inside on the seat bones. So let the ankles extend. So bring your pollux towards the heels. Stay there for a few more. Interlock the fingers, extend the arms up. Rotate the inner arms backwards. Go and then release. Change size, interlock the fingers, extend the arms up. And then move your heels up. And then move your toes so the toes are touching. But the, the heels has to be on the outside of the hips in this manner. So the toes touching, heels up. Stay there. Now, this is when it gets interesting. Go to four legs. Bring your left leg back. And then bring your left leg towards the right. And bring your, insert your left thigh on the back of the thigh and then bring your ankles together. Bring your ankles together. And then keep that, and then you will have to roll the calf muscle up. Roll the calf muscle up. You'll see that the, the right calf muscle gets in the, in the way. So turn the calf muscle up, turn the calf muscle up, turn the calf muscle up, and then descend as much as you can. Descend as much as you can. Keep turning the calf muscle out so create space. Stay there. I, it, it's okay if you lose balance, it's, it's okay. If it feels difficult, it's fine. And then change sides. Extend the right leg back and turn the right leg 
towards the opposite side. And then insert the thigh against the back thigh of the front leg. You will have to turn the left calf, calf muscle up. Turn the ca left calf muscle up. The front leg, you have to turn the calf muscle up. And the ankles have to stay together. And you have to let everything to go down. Let it go down. Let it go down. Good, and then change sides. We'll do it again. Extend the left leg. Turn the calf muscle out. T -t -t turn, bring your left leg towards the right and insert the knee on the back of the knee and move your ankles together. Now, turn your calf muscle outwards, turn your calf muscle outwards, and then reach back with your seat bones, reach back with your buttocks, and then try to descend, try to descend. What we are trying to accomplish is some feeling of, you, you will feel like, like the hips like rubber band. Go and then come to the center, Four legs, go to the other side, bring your right leg towards the left. And then bring, insert your thigh on the back of the knees. The, calf, the ankles are touching each other. And then you have to move the calf muscle out, out and away and then descend, lift the chest. Try to bring one knee closer to the other. So this is the calf muscle. This is, has to roll out. Descend, let it descend. You'll see now it's easier. Go and then come to the center. We'll do it one more time. Change legs. Again, you will have to turn. Let me show you. You have to turn the calf muscle outwards. Turn the calf muscle outwards. So the calf muscle from leg has to go outwards. You are learning this pose today, no matter what. And then push your knees against each other. Push your knees against each other. Shorten the distance within your knees. Go for it. Go well, and then release and then change size. And then again turn the calf muscle. Move your knees towards each other. Lift the chest. Go and then come to the center. You will use a block. And then you're gonna do this pose is called cow face pose. Go mukasana one. The next pose we're gonna do is go mukasana two. So watch. It's a very similar action. Let me show you. Let me see which is the best way to show you. You will have a block. And then again. You will cross your legs, but this time your feet are apart. Okay? And then you have to have a block or a few pillows and then stay in this manner. And then the knees have to descend downwards. And then go mukasana. So try to do it. Can you put okay in my phone? I agree. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay. Stay, stay, stay. Go on then. Come to the center. And then change size. Keep your feet so the, the, the heels are against the, uh, 
the heels are on the outside of the black block. And then turn the calf muscle again. The front calf muscle has to turn. And then the chest has to lift. And then extend the left arm up and then bring your arms to clasp, your, your, your hands to clasp. Go ahead and release. Slowly come down. Extend both legs. And then let's do this. Chatus Padasana. So catch the outer edge of the mat. Roll the shoulders under. Press the outer upper shoulders down. And then lift your forex up. Lift your forex up. High up. Inner heels down, or it's high up. Catch your ankles if you can, and reach upwards towards the ceiling. If you can, even if it's for a for short time, bring your legs up and take shoulders down. Shoulders down. If you cannot, Stay in this position. Chatus Padasa. And then come down. Catch your heels. Sole of the feet together. Roll the shoulders under. Let the sole of the feet together touching. And the groin is extend. Let the inner drawings soften. Stay there for a few moments. The shoulders have to roll under. Let the shoulders roll under. Soften the gaze, soften the forehead, and then extend the legs. Let go, let loose completely. Shavasana, final relaxation. Or let go. Let loose completely. Let your whole body become soft. Take a soft, small inhalation, soft, small exhalation. Allow your whole body to become soft.
Thank you, everyone, for being here. Let me turn it, turn, turn them around. Just turn them around. Also, this one. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, see you. I think tomorrow uh, I'll be teaching a class with Alex at 10 a.m. So thank you everyone so much and I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, Jason. Bye-bye.